Hello, hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to do the integration with LinkedIn. So, in service now, okay? So, the first thing is, is to understand how the authorization code flow works. So, I'm going to briefly explain you how uh, the exchange is going to be done uh, before even starting to do the configuration, okay? So, the, pay, the authorization code flow is basically an exchange of information between ServiceNow and the third-party application in order to make sure the connection is secure. It's coming from the proper consumer and the proper user. The first thing what is going to happen is client, which is ServiceNow in our case, is going to send a request to get an authorization code. So it's going to send a request to an authorization URL. So once that request is received for, by LinkedIn, it's going to redirect to the URL to the user and say, do you want to approve? So it's asking to the user, do you want to approve the client to have information, uh, your personal information, your personal LinkedIn information? And the user is going to log in and consent. So he's going to have a pop-up uh, window and say, I'm going to approve this one. So this client, this application can, can have access to the, all this information. I'm granting this. So once this part is done, at, this, at that specific moment, LinkedIn is sending back an authorization code. That code is going to be used by the client, is going to send another request, and this time, not the authorization URL, but the token URL. The token URL is going to send back an access token. So this is the entire process. Sometimes, in some, in some cases, some third-party application can send access token plus the refresh token, which was the case for Yahoo. But here, we're gonna get only the access token. And the access token has 60 days lifespan, and it's going once, before it's going to be expired, we can request another one. We can refresh the access token to have another access token. So what we are going to do first is to have what we call is create an application here, create an app. It's not the application that you can think that we're going to do something, but this application is going to allow us to have the um, the credential first and see what are the permission that we can do and also enter what is the redirect URL, all this kind of thing to do also the configuration. So I'm gonna click on create app, give a name like integration test and you have to create a page you cannot uh, do this without creating a page so I already created so it's going to be integration test and this is the one I created and email I'm gonna specify my personal email and you have to also upload an image logo I'm gonna check uh, this box as well marketing developer platform to see if that I'm going to get some other permissions and legal terms create app so at this point I'm gonna get some useful information which is the client ID the uh, uh, the client secret which is here client ID client secret I don't have any permission because I haven't entered any here any redirect URL so I'm gonna enter that information as well so which is here so the redirect URL is the following one so I'm gonna just add this one here okay so now okay great which is very strange here I don't have any permission go to my app integration what? update okay I have it now so permission so these are the permission that I have to use these are the scopes so what I can do I can read email I can read my profile information so read email so I'm getting my email address I can write some I can like share content this kind of thing so now what I'm going to do is to do the configuration in ServiceNow. So you have to type here system auth 
and you will get to this module application registry if you click on that you will get to this page and click on new and look for connect to third party or other provider and at this point i'm going to just enter i'm going to give a name here it's going to be linkedin Let's do it like this and here sorry here i'm going to get this uh, code the client ID put it here and get the client secret put it here this is going to be the default grant type is going to be authorization code authorization URL is the one that I have already taken from the documentation so it's this one the token URL is going to be this one and the redirect URL you don't actually need to put a redirect URL it's going to be automatically generated so I'm going to just save it you will see it you will have another URL here so this is the redirect URL that I have put here because once you start to create it's automatically giving you the redirect URL that you have to put so I have put it in advance because it's going to be always the same uh, now it's entered the scope because when it's going to send the first request to the authorization URL it's, it's mentioning what is the scope you have to enter that information so in order to do that you have to enter the scopes in here under OAuth entity scopes and you have to enter here so I'm going to get the scope that I have so our email address and put it here the name I'm going to keep it the same so I'm going to basically do the same thing for other permissions that I have here. And the last one, which is this one. Okay. I'm going to save it. And also add it in my LinkedIn call default profile. So in here, so I'm going to look for our uh, another one as well just this one and i guess i have w this one okay so i'm gonna save this one as well okay perfect so at this point we have done our configuration on the client side so we have the client id we have we have the client secret all the urls url needed and as well the scope the scopes which is also important so everything is perfectly done on one side. Now, the other thing, it, it is not we are going to do step by step. It is not first we're going to click on something is going to ask for your authorization URL. And then we're going to click on something is going to give you the token. No, we are going to here in ServiceNow is you have to just create a REST message. We have to directly create a message, a REST message. You're going to get the, access, the link to get an access token. So you're going to click on a link is going to trigger all these actions. And um, so I'm going to create a rest message. So the rest message is going to be like having my LinkedIn profile. Okay. So profile info. So I'm going to put this thing and the endpoint. So you can get it as well in the documentation I have already. So it's this one. Okay. I'm going to put the same thing here for info and OAuth and it's going to be LinkedIn. Okay, I'm going to submit this one. So I have created my REST message. I have the default get and I'm going to click on that and, and I'm going to as well select here. LinkedIn profile as you can see here have the I don't have the request token so now I'm going to ask for access token okay so here you have the link so you don't have it when you do your up uh, create your um, um, the or third party provider here when you create this one you don't have that link you have only in here so the approach here is directly 
um, asking for the access token. But all this authorization exchange of code is done. It's done when we start, when we're going to click here. It's not we have different links to do step by step. We have only one link which is going to trigger all the actions. So I'm going to just click on get auth token and it's asking me to log in. So I'm going to click on log in. And it, as you can see here, I have the page, I have the app that I created, the logo, and then he's asking integration test. Would like to use your name and photo, post, comment, like, post on your behalf, and also use the primary address email and so on. So I'm going to just click on allow. At that moment, I'm going to get the LinkedIn is going to redirect um, to the uh, to the client, which is the uh, the one that we have created uh, the application. What the by provider in not to send another request post request uh, to the access token uh, URL to get an access token in exchange of the code that is going to give us right now. If I don't click allow, now I should get an access token. So OAuth access token is available and will expire at a certain date here. So I checked in the documentation, the lifespan of the access token is 60 days. So we don't need to worry to uh, something we can have another one later. So in order to get a, um, another access token, if this thing is expires, is to re request um, another access token, and it's going to bypass without even allowing you to click on allow, and then you're gonna get an access token. That's the last step. But we are not going to do that. Here we are going to just check if my http request here this one api linkedin.com so which is v2 slash me is going to allow us to get the information my profile information so let's see if it's going to give that response or not okay great so as you can see here http status is 200 which means i got some information it's perfect it's green so this is the information so i have my first name sorry my last name and my first name the country so to make it more uh, beautiful I'm gonna use for example this one and okay so as you can see here I have my last name the language that I chose first name and some other so it's repeating the same information profile picture some ID for my profile picture and also my profile ID so this is basically what I can get uh, from LinkedIn by using that specific method. So this is how we can do, do the integration and we can do much more things. We can actually post a comment, we can post a picture, we can post a video and this kind of thing from here and we can and we, we need to go through the documentation, see what is the permission, we, how we can get the permissions, all this kind of thing. So it's just a bit of uh, work to analyze and to get the information that we need to do what we want. But the first step is to see if the integration works. So here it works, it's perfect. So good. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and bye.